Hi guys, this is John King. I'm just going to talk to you quickly about more or less an extremely efficient build, whether you're fighting boss monsters or horrendous amount of bon uh, monsters itself. So, the core of this build is basically constantly replenishing health, constantly replenishing your spirit as quickly as possible, uh, and also being able to take out everything as efficiently as possible. Uh, this is my first run through Inferno. I just did everything on Monster Power 10, uh, Inferno Power 3, which obviously is quite a, quite a horrendous jump. Uh, but what I found was, after you know, tweaking here and there, I found out the Burning Fist uh, build was so efficient for taking out everything, and obviously sweeping winds, dodging and diving as well, it makes it for such a great thing. So you're going to quickly see me fight Diablo, uh, just how great it is for being like, you know, just refilling, excuse me, refilling health uh, and dodging everything, uh, more or less. Obviously he gets the spikes out, I just dodge back and forward, uh, just missing them all easy. So it's just like seeing how quick he like, attacks, you just dodge it and he just stands there for ages, taking on tick 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 you know you're hitting him with exploding palm tick 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 so it's very quick uh, little move makes the world a difference uh, it's obviously I can't avoid that well I can if I put my immune shield on but I'd rather save that we well, see just how efficient that is it's just so simple uh, and this it just works great for every kind of situation uh, you're not you don't so need the dodge when you're fighting most mobs because you just you just destroy them. As soon as you got the exploding palm on them, yeah, they just they just die. Uh, so now I'm just going to speed up a bit just so you can see the rest. Uh, how how easy I make it look on Inferno on my first run through. So I'm pretty sure most of the people's first run throughs weren't this straightforwardly simple, uh, especially on Inferno. Especially doing it as the China on level three. Uh, you just gotta, I don't know, I don't know what most people do, but I assume it's a lot of more kiting rather than standing toe to toe solid and not getting hit or rarely getting hit unless it's like a, like that, that's like fire, I can't avoid that. But I'll put my immune shield on and it'll just completely take all the damage. Uh, but I'll show you all the passes and skills later. Obviously, I'm just gonna quickly. Whip through him, like saying dodge everything, just dodge all this shit because you know, it seems you're caught in something that's quite frustrating. But <laughs> you can just see how fun it is, he's got to stay switched on to obviously what's going on, but it's the same thing with uh, most things. Really, if there's a health load you need him, you quickly speed, speed chase after it. Uh, but you see, my, my, even though I'm using my spirit all the time, you see how quickly I refill it. It's just because it's it works so well, and I'm constantly able to spam, spam things. You know, there's nothing I can't spam because of the certain gear I'm using and the items I'm using. You'll see, you'll see in a second. I get caught once in his in his cage in a second, but that's it. And that's my only mess up. I don't, I won't watch him properly then. But obviously, everything else is no worries. Just let you enjoy, enjoy how quickly I just wipe out this last little bit. I think I avoid more or less everything here, unless I get stuck in like an AOE thing. Yeah, that's the only time I run away from him. That that one second. But there you go, just dodging back and forward, back and forward. So he even gets the cages forward and back for him, but because he dodges so quick, and because the items I got on makes me use like no spirit for them it just makes it easy to spam it instead of it rinsing on my spirit so mind you this is a very fun build obviously the monks made to be fast and to constantly give damage so if you want to be a proper monk and to give constant damage and heal yourself and fast spirit regen uh, and be able to get all around the battlefield with two seconds of movement then this is the build you should be using this is like a true spirit like the essence of the spirit that's what this is uh, you don't even use 
true weapons, as so to speak, because he's that focused on being a monk. Right, obviously, no, no uh, legendaries for me for this run through. I see some unfortunate like that. Okay, so we're just going to cover the gear now. So obviously, this is where it all stands from. This is the start point of how this build goes. It has to be this kind of gear, more or less. Right, so the ne the need is you need four the inners the inners or whatever because you need that on the fourth piece you need the sweeping winds reduced by seventy spirit. Obviously, uh, that's one of your core skills. So instead of it costing seventy five, it only costs five spirit, which is a huge reduction. And of course, uh, the ten life per spirit spent. Obviously, that's going to stack on with everything else you're doing. But you're checking out. You know, I've got the experience bonus, obviously, I'm trying to level up from a Paragon. Crit chance improved massively. Huge decks. Uh, all resist. Yeah, that, well, resistant, yeah, all elements. That's very handy. Uh, you check everything else out. Uh, so just quickly looking at everything. Uh, it's all to do, obviously, it has to be the Enos, but obviously mix and match what how you choose. Um, but the other items I'm just going to quickly show. Um, obviously, uh, just having a quick check again. Uh, just to make sure you know which ones are nice and which ones aren't. Okay, the main things are now your gloves, these gauntlets, right? You get your life steals from these two, and also you get life from every piece of spirit spent. So huge, huge decks, crit chance, you know, crit, crit damage increased 87%, but it's the life steal. That's where this all comes from, is the life steal. 2.20% from this gauntlet, and 2.80% from this one. So, you know, everything you're doing, 5% of that damage is converted back to life. So you're constantly attacking fast. You heal fast. You attack a lot of mobs, you heal fast. Yeah, remember, that's what it's all about. Uh, so just looking at it, you can see how good uh, it all stacks up together. So it's just such a pure monk essence. Yeah, everything is directed for monk. And it's so nice because it's not like you're having your, your sword and shield. Because that's not a monk. A monk uses his fists. But it does so well for him because it's all about gaining health. So like this is more more health, uh, more global health as well from Globes. Dex is big, a uh, bit of magic at find as well. It's always nice. Um, this again, I mainly got this for the vitality, a bit of Dex attack speed. Uh, this again, more Dex, uh, crit chance increased again, uh, health Globes. That's always handy and obviously more strength. Uh, but all these that I mainly got for magic find. Quite a lot of decks, uh, uh, and that's mainly the reasons why I got that one. And obviously the 14% lot more life. That one I got for the decks, huge decks, more life percentage. 77% uh, 77 on all resistances, which is always nice. Uh, and that again, I just got that for the decks. Magic find, attack speed. Okay, going on to the skills, Fist of Thunder. This is obviously for your crit chance. Uh, crits generate more spirit. Uh, obviously, I've got quite a lot of crit chance from the other items, so that all helps constantly gain it. That I could basically spam that because it's reduced spirit, and also it's got a bit of a knockback, so keep gets harder mobs cleared out of the way if you get walled or or whatever. Um, that increases the radius of it. That's what makes it very good. Increases his crit chance again. Exploding palm uh, with the 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 fire. It's got like a fire essence, so basically just burns everything else whilst when it explodes it just burns for heavy damage and then just blows up and blows up and just keeps going you just fucking wave through things and it makes bit loads of whores and mobs so much fun that dashing strike that so you can just dash about get to mob to mob to help uh, part or uh, whatever you need as quick as you can or out the way uh, this obviously this becomes the core thing you know that if you get in a tight situation quickly whack it on by the time that's run out you've already got full health full spirit and ready to just charge on it and so forth it's just very handy uh, that obviously that goes without saying that should be on no matter what that just makes a huge difference okay um see uh, near death experience that's just handy just in case you are a bit stuck that gives you a bit of a bonus and that obviously that six to life every spirit expensive to turns this six to life so you gain your life from that obviously you, your uh, gloves or whatever it was yeah your gloves give you 54 uh, health as well and also you got 10 on your helm uh, so all that adds together plus the life steal uh, you know it just makes for a constantly regenerating monster you only got 150 but that's doesn't matter because everything else is so cheap means you can spam all your powerful things 
and never worry about anything and you get regen so quick because your, your crit chance is massive uh, and so forth so it just makes for a really efficient tanking killing machine I mean, so obviously you can get them gauntlets with sockets, but I can't afford them yet. But if you did, uh, they would be even more beasty. But for a starting out monk or a quite a good monk, give this a try. You might like this kind of build. All right, but I hope you enjoyed what you see. Obviously, subscribe or give me a like. Uh, pl please play some comments. I'd like to hear your thoughts. But obviously, this is my first time running through as a monk on Inferno. So I think that not too bad of a self-made design. If I'm honest, cause I, like seeing how quickly I just whipped through Diablo, I s even surprised myself. Uh, <laughs> definitely a lot of fun. Uh, so I'm going to give it a run through on uh, Monster Power 4, see how I do. But I've been drinking. I'll see you guys later. Have fun and enjoy your day.